In, in this head-to-head -head -head video, video, we're going to stack up the Staffordshire Bull Terrier and the English Bulldog. Who is easier to groom? What about training? Who is better with kids? If you are considering either one of these breeds, be sure to stick around. Welcome back to the Femre English Bulldog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviourist and I'm the founder here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the English Bulldog, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect English Bulldog companions. So if you love the English Bulldog as much as we do here at Femre, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future English Bulldog video. So then, let's, let's dive into today's video and we'll see which of these breeds might be the better choice for you. And we're going to start off with the easy thing to compare, and that's their appearance. Now, the English Bulldog stands up to 16 inches and weighs up to 50 pounds for a healthy individual of the breed. This breed is hard to mistake for any other breed as they have some very distinguishing features like their wide stance, big loose lips, wrinkled face and small pushed in nose. Their coat is short and they can come in solids, piebolds, fawn and brindle varieties. Now the Staffy shares the appearance of a lot of other bully breeds. Their bodies are powerful and muscular with broad, strong chests and sturdy legs. Their muzzles are shortened with mighty jaws. Their coats are short and consist of stiff hair and come in solid and patterned colours. The Staffy can grow up to 16 inches tall and will weigh around 38 to 40 pounds. So then let's now look at their exercise requirements and grooming requirements and see if they differ much here. Now it might be a surprise to hear that I think the Staffy and the Bulldog require similar amounts of exercise. Now let me explain. In the case of the Staffy, it's because they have energy to burn, whereas the Bulldog has some energy to expend, but they need the workout so that they won't put on too much weight and become obese. Both of these breeds are generally satisfied with a really good play session and a decent walk every single day. Now, that being said, obviously, it now kind of goes without saying that, yes, the Staffy has higher energy levels. And like I say, you need to give them sufficient exercise to burn off that energy. If you allow an English Bulldog, because of their lower energy levels, they will be content with much less exercise. But it is still very important to make sure that you're giving them plenty of mental and physical exercise and stimulation to really allow them to be happy, content and most importantly, healthy. Now, when it comes to grooming, the Staffy is a little bit easier, though not by much. The English Bulldog needs brushing a couple of times a week, and they do shed more when the temperature changes. The folds of their skin also need much more extra attention. The Staffy just needs occasional brushing to keep their coat in good condition, and they shed a little bit more minimally. Okay then, so what about their health and life expectancy? Well, for health matters, the Staffy also does a little bit better in this category as well. The Staffy can live 12 to 14 years as opposed to the English Bulldog, whose average lifespan is more like 10 to 12 years. Now, the English Bulldog also has some health issues, and some of them you can almost expect to find in most individuals, especially around breathing problems due to their small noses that are set in more on their faces. They also suffer from eye problems, hip dysplasia, knee problems, and temperature sensitivity. On the other hand, the Staffy has a few issues such as NCL, which is a genetic disease that causes a decline in muscle coordination. Other health problems include uh, thyroid problems, eye issues, heart problems, and hip dysplasia. Sorry to very quickly interrupt the video, guys. I just wanted to let you know, if you haven't done it already, over on our website, FenrirCanineLeaders.com, we have a completely free quiz that I designed myself for you to be able to take. It asks you a few questions based on some of the things that I think are really important for what guard dog breed will be perfect for you. So you go through that quiz, you answer the questions honestly, and then at the end it will give you what I think the perfect guard dog breed for you is and again it's completely free just trying to help you guys out as much as we can so again there'll be a link down to it in the description box below if you haven't done it already go even if you're not necessarily interested in getting a guard dog breed anytime soon I know a lot of people have found it really fun just to see what kind of breed I would recommend for you so get stuck in go and have a look but without further ado we'll get back to the video you were just watching now then, let's look at their kind of more temperament and social needs. And as we go forward with the rest of this video, it has to be with the assumption that the dog has been given proper socialization and training from a young age. It will also have to be assumed that the dog is of correct temperament and disposition 
for its breed for us to be allowed to make a fair kind of representation between the two. Now, one thing that rings true for both of these breeds is that they have personality and character. English Bulldogs are docile, brave, and should be friendly. But when the situation calls for it, they seem to forget their size and react with high courage levels. Bulldogs are lovable towards their family and will happily set themselves up on your lap if you allow it. Now, the Staffy, in comparison, are confident, good-natured, and intelligent. The breed is personable and they usually are very friendly. They are devoted family members and are very loving, though it should be said that this breed should not be aggressive and reactive without provocation, which is why researching a good breeder that prioritises stable temperament is an absolute must. So then let's compare their intelligence and their trainability. Well, the English Bulldog and the Staffy are both very intelligent breeds, though you can count on the Bulldog to be a little more independent and they're more on the stubborn side, even a little lazy. Both breeds tend to be agreeable, but the Staffy is more eager to please, and this makes for a more comfortable training experience as they are just so keen to please and want to make their people happy. With the Bulldog, it might be a little more of a struggle to really engage them, and consistency will go a long way with your training efforts. Now, I hope you enjoyed that quick video and the breakdown of some of the most important differences and similarities between these two incredible breeds. If you did enjoy the video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell as we've got two English Bulldog videos coming here to this channel every single week. And I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir English Bulldog Show.